we're going to go up here just a little bit further and then we're going to turn to the right. I have been slowly going blind over the last 20 years and I finally became legally blind a couple of years ago and retired. And at that point, uh, I got involved with the Commission for the Blind and what services they offered. And I came down to the Silver Summit last year and really enjoyed it. Uh, got to meet a lot of people uh, in my age group. Also got to see how these people still get out in the world and do things. And I've got seven grandkids. I wanna, I wanna be involved in their lives. And so I've been trying to take advantage of all the opportunities I get. Um, I've just been very appreciative of what the commission has been able to do for me. With, with my one finger and then with the spatula, I, I get the spatula under that piece of chicken and then, and then I just flip it over. The Silver Summit is a conference for the older blind of Nebraska. And this is a conference that we provide once a year through the Nebraska Commission for the Blind and Visually Impaired. This year, our theme is a cruise ship theme, and we have welcomed aboard nearly 200 blind individuals across Nebraska this year and provided them with tools and techniques so that they can go home and be as independent as possible. The easiest way to turn voiceover on is to just ask Siri. I attend with my husband because along with his learning, I'm learning what he's learning. And so that helps me to figure out how to support him a little better, to help him out and encourage him. Um, my husband uh, feels like he's very welcomed here. He's not self-conscious and he stands with pride. Well, on to the type of cane. Now, um, I'm a fast walker, so I use a 66 inch cane. I think the main thing that really strikes me about conferences like this is the ability that we allow for networking. People leave here and they've got people they can call and say, hey, how do you do this? How could you help me? And just someone to talk to, someone else that's going through the same thing they are. Um, most of our residents in Nebraska live in a rural area, so they may not have anybody else in their town that they know of that has a visual impairment. Yeah, I think about it all your life, you've read where you use your eyes reading left to right, up and down, but when you have macular degeneration, you go in and out of a, a dark spot. I was overwhelmed when I saw all the people arriving, you know, from all over the state. And it's been so informative. I've just been amazed at the people that are totally blind and are so independent. And it gives me a, a feeling of assurance I can live a normal life. Anna Moses from Shadron. Very good. Suburb of oh, Whitney. Sorry. Lila Grant <laughs> from Scott's Bluff. At the Silver Summit, we try to provide a variety of different things for people to learn. You might learn how to do more in your kitchen or how to identify your shampoo bottles, mark your medication, your kitchen supplies. We talk about how to use technology in your home um, to have more leisure time, how to enjoy your leisure. Your pinky and your thumb are on the sides and then you follow down that front knuckle. There you go. There you go. Thank you. I would encourage anybody who's, who's uh, visually impaired or even blind, if they haven't gone through it, to go through it. My experience with the Nebraska Commission for the Blind has just been one positive experience. They're giving me those skills that I need to live my independent life that I want to live. I have a lot of confidence in myself now and I know I know the things I can do now and I'm ready to I'm ready for that challenge. Explore all our upcoming events at ncbvi.nebraska.gov.